Hey y'all, ooh, I look sleepy. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking, do a check-in, do a check-up, how's mommy life doing? Um, what are some must-haves that you have? Because this is like the baby booming season um, for my peers, for my generation. So shout out to all of the new moms. Congratulations. Um, please, if you have loved ones who um, just conceived or who just gave birth, delivered, please give them my love and tell them, Kiki, say hi, girl. Congratulations. Um, let me put on some something. Let me put my edges on the phone. Come right back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So they believe it, let them see it, let them see you. Oh, 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 a few things that I am learning about motherhood. Um, first of all, it's been a journey and it is absolutely selfless. Shout out to all of the mothers. It should be a Mother's Day <laughs> very more often. Um, a Father's Day too, but a Mother's Day because um, literally they are your life. They are your every day, your every minute, your every second. And shout out to the, the fathers because it's just a team effort. The way Jordan has dropped in, we talked about it, right, um, in the other video, which thank you for watching. But um, the way Jordan has dropped in is literally a shift. It's, um, I don't like to call it a job, um, but it has to do with purpose, and I'm really excited about grooming and raising a beautiful little girl, um, especially one who knows Jesus. I'm really excited about that. So I've been making like little declarations over her life. When I look into her eyes, that's my favorite part. I got these strings, but that's my favorite part. When I look into her eyes, she looks into my eyes like she's recognizing who mommy is. Um, and then sometimes when she's crying, I'll just talk right into her ear and she'll just be still and she'll just listen. Um, so I am really enjoying mommy life. It's really exciting. Um, it's definitely... Um, people who have started before me, I can definitely see why there's like a, a transition or a change. I was reading something and it said, um, not only is the baby born, but the mother is born too. And that was a great read for me. It was so many other things, but I'm going to share with you some things that have been like super helpful. Um, my mother's uh, our mothers have teased me like, y'all got it made. It's so many advanced things. I wish I had that when y'all was a baby and all of that. So these are some of the things um, and some of the things that, too, I've learned. I was like, okay, maybe I need to invent something um, and, and make something happen. So it's junky. That's one thing that I'm noticing. I understand why well, mommies be like, you know, they give you the disclaimer when you come to the house. Excuse the house child, the kids. I only got one and it looked like I got 10. Well, sometimes I'm over exaggerative because um, I'm a, a bit meticulous and I like to keep the house um, just, you know, picturesque. picturesque. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you a few things. One thing is in your house, if you don't feel like going up and down the steps, I got two of these little baby bags um, that I was gifted and I love it. I love it because, you know, um, you, you don't have to go up and down the steps like her nursery's upstairs. So I don't got to go up and down the steps to get her diapers and all of that. It's just right there with me. So get you a diaper bag. Like I said, to all of the mommies who just were born to, shout out to y'all. And these are some things that really helped me. So the bottle warmer, we have a bottle warmer and I stay consistent with that. But I was just reading that you don't necessarily have to warm the, the milk. Um, you can just like, I did it the old school way where I just put hot water in the cup and just let it sit in there. So I was, I'm following a whole bunch of pages and they're like, what things do you need? What things don't you need? So mommy, if you don't want to get a bottle, bottle, bottle warmer, of course you might need that when you like in the car or something and you travel and you move around. She's turning over. Okay, Pootie, and it's time for me to change. I think she looks like me. She has a gap, so 
Y'all remember my videos, and it's coming back to me, but I need to put my retainer on. I think I'm gonna get a, re a permanent retainer. But this is what I was telling y'all, things that you need and you don't need. Um, Cause some people were like, oh, you're wasting money. I just finished pumping, that's the noise that y'all heard. So I love the wearable, um, I'm gonna try not to show y'all too much, but I love this brand. Mom Cozy, y'all have to check it out. I was a little um, apprehensive when I saw it on Amazon because, you know, sometimes Amazon is a hit or miss. It's, it's the deal, it's the plug. But, um, uh, what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, let me fix you. Um, I just didn't know if it was gonna be, like, fit my, my boobs. So I talked about this in the subscription in a little bit more detail. So, in my Instagram subscription, you gotta subscribe, all that good stuff. So I showed you thing one. Okay, I'm gonna show you another thing. Okay, um, I actually gave you two things. I gave you the diaper bags in the house, and then I gave you, um, what else did I give you? Tell me, um, what did I give you? Oh, the breast pump, the wearable breast pump. So I do have the Freedom Mom where I have two breast pumps, but the wearable has been most convenient. The Freedom Mom, I have to sit there and hold it. Um, and my boobs is a little too heavy in there for me but um the mom cozy i love both of them um the freedom one was a gift and i loved it it was successful it fit perfectly um but i was concerned for us plus size women who are like hey i don't think this is gonna fit my boob uh mom cozy will fit your boob and it's working well pumping and all that good stuff and i have learned too from my doula that the more you pump the more milk your body um will produce so shout out to my body shout out to god and now shout out to god up there for helping me with that um i do need to pump a little bit more but sometimes i try to get my z's in and all that good stuff like last night jordan just let me sleep um for i think about four hours and she's stretching now her hours so that's really exciting get your sleep in all that good stuff um but here's the next thing that i love now excuse it actually i'm gonna just take this out because it's just stuff in here Okay, it's by the tree. We put it by the tree, but I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, this thing is for moms. Their brand, they make a lot of good things. This is the one item that my mom uh, was like, I wish, girl, they had something to rock y'all so I could do stuff around the house or take a nap. But this thing has like a few settings that you can um, do. You can speed it up, and then it has like some little white noise sounds it sounds it. Okay. White noise sounds is, is hilarious, but white noise sounds. Um, love that. I was a little hesitant to get that as well, but it definitely does help. But I think I'm spoil, uh, spoiling um, Chloe Drew. So pray my strength. Amen? Amen. Okay, here's the next thing. It's folded like that because it was air pressed, um, if you know what I mean. But I got this from Amazon. At first, I had some family members who were like, you need to put something on this thing. That's going to make her cold. But I have just kept it clean. I clean it after every use. And um, I love this because we're downstairs. I don't have to always take her to the bassinet upstairs or put her, you know, on a changing table. I can just use this. And it's wet. So, um, so um, I keep her on that thing. And I don't put a cloth on it so that I don't have... I already got a ton of things to clean because of, you know, she's a baby and she's going through the clothes or whatever. But baby be peeing and, and peeing on all of us. Amen. She even peed on Nana. She peed on mommy. She peed on daddy. So Chloe Drew is having her, her freedom. When that air hits her, it helps. Amen. So that's another thing that I love. And then um, it looks like um, the little thing in, I think, the Prince of Egypt when they put the baby in there and swaddle her, okay. Okay, here's another thing. One thing that I did notice is that they don't have high chairs for infants. And I just be feeling like Chloe Drew be trying to tell me, mommy, I'm tired of sitting slouched down. I would like to sit up. Um, so they don't have high chairs. So Jordan and I have made up something. It's so funny. If we had hidden cameras in our house, y'all would crack up at us because we've been, well, I, yeah, Jordan too. I've been walking through the house um, because we haven't gone out just yet with Chloe. But I put her in this little um, 
and this car seat stroller thing. So I'm gonna show you this, it's by Evenflow. I know there are a whole bunch of other brands. Like I wanted to get up a baby. My One of my close friends recommended that and I think I am gonna get it if I have more children um, because I'll talk about that later. Evenflow, this is cute, love the color. This is a gift from a friend as well. Shout out to my family and friends. Um, but she sits comfortably in this and we've been using this as a rocker, praise God. And we've also been using it as her high chair. But is this a good uh, purchase? She sits comfortable and it sits her up. Okay. Here are my other things that I love. So we got two car seats, one for dad, one for mommy. Um, this one I saw and I was like, oh, this is the, this is the G. And I thought that because it's two in one. And this is what we came home um, with from the hospital. Jordan brought it to the hospital. Um, and this is what we put Chloe in and she's growing in it. I love it. It's so convenient. It's like almost sometimes I don't have to take her out, but it's the Duna buggy. And I, I actually had asked some friends, um, what they thought about it. And they were like, yeah, you got to get it. And they got it for us. So here's the Duna buggy. I'm going to show it to you. Use all of the cords, but this is the Duna buggy. So it turns into, I don't know if it's a Duna buggy. I'm call, I don't know why I call it a buggy, but it turns into a stroller. I love it. Um, because like I said, it's a car seat and a stroller. So I don't have to do all of the two steps like when I'm getting out of the car, it's just gonna be easy for when I get out. Um, the only times we've gone out is like to her pediatrician, which I'm really excited about her pediatrician. But, um, we talked about that in the last video and I'll talk more detail about it in the subscription and all that good stuff. But the Duna buggy, the house is a mess. Um, but praying for me. Okay, so that's another thing. This is another thing. I'm gonna see if I can hold the camera up because I don't feel like going upstairs to get the phone camera holder thingy. So I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so this I brought, I saw it on Instagram. And it's a cover because they were telling us that we tend to overdress the babies and that could cause them to overheat. So I bought like this buggy coat thing. Can y'all see that? It's so cute. So she got a little peep and then you can just push this back. I love it. There's some little Velcro things up here and it's by 7 a.m. infants or something like that. And they got different colors. So when she go to church, it's a cream one. Or maybe when she goes to Christmas. I love this. I love it. Jordan loves it too. Um, so that was that's another thing, but we just need to um, fold these strollers because <laughs> they are not folded. I'm whispering because Jordan is sleeping. It's my shift now. My feet sliding across the floor, the floor, the floor too. All right, here's another one. This air purifier, it's a baby air purifier. I love it. Um, I've definitely noticed the difference even for myself. Um, not that it's for me, but I love it. I put it by her bassinet and it's super helpful also. Okay, and then um, what's one last thing for moms? Um, she is too small for it. She actually has grown a bit, but she's too small for it. You can pull the strap down and all that good stuff. She, okay, I wanted to make sure she was dead. Um, this thing right here, I'm gonna turn the camera around, but it plays music, it sits her up, and it moves her around too. So she's falling asleep when Poppy was here um, in this one. So sometimes when dad is here, he like, put her in that four moms thing. And um, yeah, so shout out to four moms. Y'all made some great brands. And I wanna know if y'all are actually four mothers and friends who's gotten together, or what is it? So I love y'all, that's mommy life for um, me or parent life for the Kellys over here and it's been exciting happy holidays y'all I'm super excited I'm super grateful and um okay she's calling me so I'm gonna get to it and I have been sharing more make sure you click um the share button share it with some new moms and all that good stuff and um, I'm excited I'll keep vlogging and sharing more of what's going on and how God is moving am I getting back to work yes <laughs> We about to get back to work. We about to get back to work. Okay. Coming very soon. I love y'all. Bye. Thank you for watching. Oh, okay. And then what do I love most? 
I told you by looking in the eyes. But I love kissing my baby. You smile at mommy. She smile at me. You smile at mommy. You smile at mommy. Y'all gotta hear my song for her. It's in my IG subscription too. Also, I guess I can show y'all. Let this over. Show y'all the easy pour too from the Mom Cozy pumps. Um, it's so perfect. And they look, it look like a smoothie. You better go ahead, God. That's too much. Just shut up. But he better go ahead because the, 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 the milk, it, it is very, sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's thin. It's just amazing how the body, how God made the body to read the baby. It's so special. Okay, let me get it. Hold on. There we go. It's just the easy pour. I don't know if I'm satisfied because... Okay, booty. The other ones are easy pour too, but I was concerned about the functionability of that. Please don't eat my this hair, booty. Yes, I'm taking all of that sugar, girl. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all little moments like that. I'm proud of it. Okay, bye.